Welcome to another Math and Man episode where today you'll learn how to create tables off your TI-84 or TI-83. I think they're the same buttons, so this should work out for both calculators. To avoid having to make a lot of repetitive plugging in for X and then you get a Y, here's the fastest way you could do this on the TI-84. First thing you want to do is have an equation and make sure that equation is solved for Y. So let's just use this quadratic one right here, y equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. First thing, you type in y equals, which is the button right here, and you're not going to type in y because the y is already there. You're just going to type in the rest of this, 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So you're going to type 2, the x button is right here, and the square uh, minus 5x minus 3. So that first step is super easy. You just plug those in. To access the actual table, you just press second and this graph button right here, which will access a table of values that you could scroll up and down to so you can reach the negative x numbers. And now you can avoid plugging in all the x values to get your y value. It's already made for you infinitely. You could scroll down to whatever number you want. Uh, if you want to exit out of the screen, you just press second mode and you're back to where you started. So just to repeat myself, you press y equals, type in the equation, and once you want to access your table, you just press second graph and you'll get a table of values right away. So you could use these points to either graph or if you want to check if a point belongs in an equation, you can also do that. All sorts of uses for this. You do have a couple options to change the way your table looks like, so I'll show you in this slide right here. Uh, first, let's make sure that you still have an equation typed in there. So we're just going to use the same one as before. Now let's access back our table by pressing second graph just to see what our origin original uh, table looks like. So that's what it looks like right here. If you want to change some options, just press second window. And I'm going to talk about three options that you can use right here. First one is table start. That is just saying that if I want my table to start at a different number, I just have to change this zero right here. Let's change it to negative five. And see what that does. Go back to second graph to access our table, and as you can see, it used to start at zero, and now it starts at negative five. So that's pretty useful. Here's the second thing that you can change about your table. Go back to second window to have those options. And let's say instead of counting by ones, I want to count by fives in my table. Change that to five. Go back to your table by pressing second graph, and now look at these values. The x values are now counting by fives instead of ones. So you could change that to whatever interval you want. Uh, that's really useful when you're trying to customize your graph or whatever it is that you're doing. And the last option I want to show you, so just go back to second window to change those options. Uh, let's go back to this bottom option right here where it says independent, independent variable. Used to be on auto. And now let's change that to ask and press enter. Go back to the table itself. And as you can see, now this shows up blank because now you could choose whatever X value you want and it will give you the output, what the Y value equals. So let's say I want to f use two uh, and you can jump around numbers, you, negative two. This will be really useful to plug in a number right away that you're looking for instead of scrolling up to that number or down to that number. Let's say I want to do 100. Now I don't have to scroll up to 100. Wow, that number got really big. Uh, you can put whatever number it is, whatever X number you want, it will give you whatever Y value it has. So that's really super useful. So let's just recap that second window are my options, table start, where you want your table to start, uh, change the table intervals, uh, what you want your table values to count by, and 
if you don't want it to automate and you want it to um, ask your own numbers, you just change this independent option right here from auto to ask. All right, so in this problem right here, I want you to create a table of values for this equation right here. It's another quadratic equation, but I want you to customize that table where I want you to start that table at negative three, and I also want you to use intervals of two, so you want it to count by twos. So pause the video, try it out. Let's see if you remember how to make a table on the TI-84. When you are done, just unpause the video and I will go over how that looks like in case you forgot. I tried to trick you on this question right here. So like I said, in order for you to graph on this TI-84, you want to make sure that the equation is solved for y to begin with. So the first thing you had to do was subtract 9 on both sides. So you got in uh, y equals form. Let me just go over a recap of the whole lesson. First, you press y equals on your calculator to type in the actual equation. If you press second window, it'll give you your options. So I said, I want this table to start at negative three and I want it to count by twos. And the last part, if you wanna access the actual table itself, you just press second graph and you got your table of values right here. Hopefully this was really useful. And if you need help with other calculator tutorials or other lessons just leave it in the comment section below and i'll try to make that video anyways make sure you like my video subscribe and i will see you on the next episode peace